The fall of Jack Ma. How Xi Jinping's crackdown on big tech shook China's economy. China has emerged as a global powerhouse in the tech industry, with a slew of innovative startups and established giants vying for supremacy in the market. From e-commerce giant Alibaba to social media platform WeChat, Chinese tech companies have been on the cutting edge of technological innovation, driving economic growth and transforming society in the process. One of the most iconic figures in this ecosystem was Jack Ma, the founder of Alibaba and one of China's most successful entrepreneurs. Ma was known for his charismatic personality, his visionary ideas, and his ability to connect with people from all walks of life. He was seen as a symbol of China's rising technological prowess, a self-made billionaire who had achieved success through hard work and perseverance. However, Ma's fortunes began to change in 2020 as the Chinese government launched a sweeping crackdown on the country's tech industry. Regulators began scrutinizing tech companies for antitrust violations and other alleged misdeeds, and the government took a more active role in regulating the sector. But what really happened? The relationship between Jack Ma, the founder of Alibaba Group, and the Chinese government was always a complex one, marked by periods of cooperation and conflict. However, the most significant turning point in their relationship occurred in 2020, when the Chinese government launched a crackdown on the country's tech industry and Ma found himself in the crosshairs. The events leading up to this crackdown began in 2017, when the Chinese government introduced new regulations aimed at reining in China's tech giants. These regulations included measures to prevent monopolies, improve data privacy, and limit the power of online platforms. In response, Alibaba and other tech companies pledged to comply with the new rules and work with regulators to ensure their implementation. However, tensions began to simmer in 2020 when Ma made a speech at a financial conference in Shanghai that was critical of China's regulatory system. In the speech, Ma suggested China's regulators were stifling innovation in the industry and compared them to an old people's club. The speech, which went viral on social media, was seen by many as a direct challenge to the authority of the Chinese Communist Party. The fallout from Ma's comments was swift and severe. In November 2020, Chinese regulators suspended the IPO of Ant Group, the fintech company that Ma had founded and that was set to become the world's largest ever IPO. The move sent shockwaves through the financial world, with investors scrambling to reassess the risks of investing in Chinese companies. The Chinese government also launched an antitrust investigation into Alibaba Group, alleging that the company had engaged in monopolistic practices and violated antitrust laws. In April 2021, the investigation resulted in a record $2.8 billion fine, which Alibaba paid without contesting. Ma, who had been a fixture on the global stage, suddenly disappeared from public view for several months, leading to rumors that he had been detained or even arrested by the Chinese government. When he finally reappeared, he was noticeably subdued, and many speculated that he had fallen out of favor with the Chinese Communist Party. The fallout from Ma's comments and the government's crackdown on the tech industry sent shockwaves through China's economy and the global business community. It was a dramatic reminder of the Chinese government's power to shape the economy and its willingness to intervene in the private sector. What did the government have to say? The Chinese government, including President Xi Jinping, has been vocal about its commitment to cracking down on the country's big tech firms, citing concerns about monopolistic practices, data privacy, and national security. The government has emphasized that the crackdown is not targeted at any specific company or individual, but rather a broader effort to ensure that the tech industry operates fairly. In November 2020, shortly after the suspension of Ant Group's IPO, President Xi Jinping spoke at a summit of Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, APEC leaders, and stressed the importance of promoting innovation while also ensuring regulatory oversight. He called for the establishment of a new development pattern that is based on domestic and international economic cycles, highlighting the need for Chinese companies to focus on the domestic market and ensure national security. Since then, other Chinese government officials have spoken out about the need to regulate the tech industry, with some emphasizing the need for more stringent data privacy laws and others calling for greater transparency in business practices. However, the government's crackdown on the tech industry has also sparked criticism from some quarters, both in China and abroad. Some have accused the government of using the crackdown to stifle innovation and limit competition, while others have raised concerns about the impact on China's overall economic growth. 
Despite the criticism, it seems that the Chinese government remains committed to its efforts to regulate the tech industry. The recent fines imposed on Alibaba and other companies suggest that the government will continue to take a tough stance on antitrust violations, and it's likely that more regulations will be introduced in the future to ensure that the industry operates in a fair and transparent manner. How did the crackdown affect the Chinese economy? The crackdown on big tech firms had a significant impact on the Chinese economy, given the size and importance of the tech industry in the country. The industry has been a major driver of economic growth in recent years, accounting for a significant share of China's GDP and employment. One of the most immediate effects of the crackdown was a decline in the stock prices of Chinese tech companies. The suspension of Ant Group's IPO, followed by the record fine imposed on Alibaba Group, sent shockwaves through the financial world, leading to a drop in investor confidence and a decline in stock prices for many Chinese tech companies. This, in turn, had a negative impact on the overall performance of the Chinese stock market. The crackdown also had broader implications for China's economic growth. Many analysts have warned that the government's effort to regulate the tech industry could stifle innovation and limit competition, which could, in turn, slow down economic growth. Some have even suggested that the crackdown could lead to a tech cold war between China and the United States, which could have further negative implications for the global economy. At the same time, however, there are also arguments that the crackdown could ultimately be beneficial for the Chinese economy. By curbing monopolistic practices and promoting fair competition, the government could create a more level playing field for businesses, which could stimulate innovation and promote long-term economic growth. By introducing more stringent data privacy laws and other regulations, the government could help restore consumer confidence in the tech industry, which could ultimately benefit businesses and the economy as a whole. The impact of the crackdown on big tech firms in the Chinese economy remains a topic of debate. While there are certainly short-term challenges and uncertainties, many analysts believe that the long-term implications of the crackdown could ultimately be positive as long as the government balances its efforts to regulate the industry with a commitment to promoting innovation and growth. How are the big tech firms adjusting? In response to the Chinese government's crackdown on big tech firms, many companies have taken steps to adjust their business practices and comply with the new regulations. Alibaba Group, the e-commerce giant founded by Jack Ma, has taken steps to diversify its business, expanding into areas such as cloud computing, digital entertainment, and logistics. The company has also pledged to cooperate fully with the government's antitrust investigation and to take steps to ensure that its business practices comply with the new regulations. Other big tech firms have also been impacted by the crackdown. Tencent, the social media and gaming giant, has been subject to increased scrutiny over its market dominance and data privacy practices. In response, the company has pledged to improve its data privacy protections and has taken steps to increase transparency around its business practices. Meanwhile, Huawei, the Chinese telecommunications company, has faced significant challenges due to U.S. sanctions and allegations of security risks. The company has responded by investing heavily in research and development and exploring new business models, such as its pivot toward the smart car industry. The fall of Jack Ma sent shockwaves through China's tech industry and the global business community. It was a dramatic reminder of the Chinese government's power to shape the economy and its willingness to intervene in the private sector. For Ma, it was the end of an era a stunning reversal of fortune for a man who had been at the forefront of China's economic transformation. But for China's tech giants and the wider industry, it was a sign that the future was uncertain and that they would need to adapt to a rapidly changing regulatory landscape. But what do you think about China's tech industry? Let us know in the comment section below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Until next time.